Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. Just click on the Products button. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today, I want to show you how to customize the Urban Grunge template. All right, let's get started. I'm going to customize this template because I feel like it's going to be the template that allows me to show you the most about the templates. If you want to use the sports trading cards version, you may want to look at the sports trading card tutorial. This is how it's going to look when you first pull it up. It'll have the red and the baseball will be showing. And I just want to go over some of the layers real quick here before we get started. If you're using the Photoshop version, you're going to see these files with the fonts in them. But if you're not, if you're using Elements, it'll be the same, but you won't see the file. You'll just see the actual layers. What we've got here is we've got lots of layers, and this set has been designed so that you can really do a lot with it. The way that I've been able to make it that way is by adding what's called a clipping mask and that's what you see with this little arrow here and they're pretty easy to work with but you just have to remember if it ever gets unclipped then you just have to right click it and then click it'll say add clipping mask right here instead of release and you'll just need to add that clipping mask back in if you have any problems with it and we'll go over that later but I just want to go over some of these layers here first we have lightning which you can turn off and on we have dark edges and we have the bottom stripes, top stripes, a hue saturation layer which will, it will allow you to change the color of the grunge, black and white, and we have all of our clip art which if you double click the clip art you can see that it's at a 30 opacity and if I make it at a hundred percent you can see that it gets really dark. Um, I like it at 30. You may want to play with that and use it in different ways. Basketball, football, soccer, layers for grunge. The grunge is on right now. You can turn off grunge, turn on gray. Okay, you can turn on diamond plate. So you can play with these layers. You can even use black. And these are your frames and this is what makes the area for the photos. And then this is your uh, layer where you'll want to click this when you add a photo and your white backdrop if you want to turn that on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this and we're going to make it look like this. I'm going to open up my photos, file, open, and I want to open these so I'm just going to drag over all of them and I'm going to click open. Now even if you don't have this template, you can learn a lot about maybe some things that if you're not as familiar with Photoshop, some ways to use these different tools in Photoshop. The first one I'm going to work with, photo I'm going to work with, is this one. And this is going to go up in the top. So I'm going to come back to my template. I'm going to highlight your photo here. Make sure that's highlighted. And then I'm just going to drag this in. It's getting small because it's a low resolution, but hopefully yours will be bigger when they come in. And I'm just going to drag this out, arrow it where I want it, and press Enter. And then I'm going to take my next photo which I'm going to put over here. Drag it out. I'm pressing my shift key while I drag so that I keep the aspect ratio. And I press enter my last photo and I'm going to drag it in. Press enter. Okay, so I'm going to arrow this up. So as you can see, we have some overlapping here, which I'm going to fix the way I like to fix it. I know there's a lot of ways to do this, but this is the way I like to do it. Basically, we'll start with this picture, and I'm going to come over here, click to add a layer mask. So this is my layer mask, and I'm going to make sure that I have this set to black and white. If it's not, then you can click this and then click this. I want to here and grab a brush, and I want the brush to be hard bristled and I want it, I'm going to click my right, I'm going to click my right bracket to make it bigger. And I'm just going to go along here, as long as my mask is highlighted, this is going to make this disappear. Oops. Okay, now on this one I'm going to do the same thing. Click my mask.
and on the other one. I'm going to also remove an area on this lower right corner. You can drag it down. And now I have um, my pictures in place and they're not overlapping. So I'm going to change the type. So I grab my type tool and I'm going to triple click that and then change the color. I'm going to try to capture, I'm just going to, so I'm just sampling that color and that looks good to me. And then I'm going to come down here, click my type tool, triple click here and just get that same color, sample that same color, click OK. Now we're going to change these words and this part you just and you can see it's coming off so I'm going to double click this and I'm going to reduce the size here. You can either type in the number right here like you could change it to 24 or you can use these little if you have CS3 you can use this to make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to press that up a little bit. Now let's work on this background. I want the brushed metal and I want to remove the baseball so I'm going to turn that layer off and it's all customized. If I wanted to I could change uh, his name and his number. Now let's say I wanted to use the other font that comes with this. I'm going to turn this off and I come to Earwig Factory and I turn it on and you can just customize it the same way. Another thing you can do is you can switch out this font for maybe another font, font that you like, that you have. So there's really a lot you can do with the fonts. Now because this has a clipping mask, like say for the lightning and the dark edges, it doesn't show at the top, but let's say I wanted my dark edges to actually show on top of the picture. What you can do is you can drag this layer up and then you right click it and release clipping mask and then you see you get this dark edge. And if I did the same thing for the lightning, you can see what will happen. It goes on top of the picture, which for some pictures it actually looks pretty nice. But I'm going to go ahead and add these. I'm going to press shift and select both of them, right click and create clipping mask and then it goes back to how it was before. Another thing you can do is you can take the black or actually any of the colors and you can you can add a gradient mask to it and so you just double click on the layer and then you come over to gradient overlay and depending on what colors you have selected you can add a gradient overlay right now the black and white is on so everything's going to black and white but let's go ahead and turn that off and let's turn off hue saturation color overlay as you can see look it changed into a different color or you can do the gradient overlay and it's using the black and white because that's what's in there right now but you can change it to another color which actually looks pretty fun and we're going to go into our history here and we're going to turn some of this off. Now if you wanted a more minimalist look you might want to turn off some of these layers. Back to our layers here. You might want to turn off these layers that have the text in them and you might even want to turn off the, the stripes and just change it to brick and turn off the lightning every single template has all these layers in it so it's really a lot to work with okay that's all I have time to show you on this template for now so I hope you enjoy the template <laughs>